Today we're reading Mystery Duck from Amazon. That was bent from my parents' house. It was a Thursday afternoon when the doorbell rang. Marty ran across the house and opened the front door to see a box with many air holes, as well as it being an Amazon box. A small yap from the inside told him it was a dog. He opens the box to see a German Shepherd puppy. Ah, aren't you just a cutie and just a bundle of joy, Marty said. He picks up the dog and pets her. Finally, I can have a dog. Let's see what happens. I don't see why I can't keep her. She's so cute and I think it could really help me to have a dog. You know all the benefits of having a dog, but you just won't let me have a dog, Marty said. No, you are not keeping this animal, Marty, said his mom. You know why we can't have dogs in the first place and you are really testing that right now. You need to take that furball to a shelter. I can't look at it anymore. Please, Marty, just listen to your mother. His dad followed. Marty holds the dog close to him as he storms out of the house to his car. Getting in his car, his puppy is sitting on a passenger seat and he thinks of a name, Dakota. You know what, Dakota? One day we're going to have a house of our own and we can live happily there. Just you and me, nobody else. Dakota looks at him and then comes over and licks his face. He laughs while petting her. Marty and Dakota are in the driveway of his house and it's 1 a.m. when his parents are asleep. This is probably going to be the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life, but I need you to be as quiet as possible, Marty said. Marty, with Dakota in his hands, makes his way inside, being as quiet as he can and makes his way to his room. Now in his room, Dakota gets comfortable in his bed and falls asleep. What did I get myself into, Marty whispers. It's early in the morning. Marty is talking to Dakota. Okay, I need you to be quiet for now. Then I sneak you out after my parents leave for work. Marty makes his way to the kitchen, where his mother and father are eating breakfast. So, how was the shelter? His mom asks. Depressing. The dogs there bark to get out and it's heartbreaking. I can't believe you made me do that, mom. I won't forget this, Marty answers. He walks out of the room and then comes back. Oh yeah, I have some jokes for you, if you even care. What do you get when you cross a gold dock and a telephone? A golden receiver. <laughs> oh, and this one. What does a scientist duck do with bones? Bury him. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot because this is my favorite. Did you hear about the duck who gave birth at the side of the road? She was ticketed for littering. <laughs> I hope you're happy with yourself. Marty makes his way to his room and hugs Dakota. I think we ruined our son big time, father says. You think so? Mother asks. My parents don't want you, but I do. And I can't hide you forever. I don't know what to do. And we'll never know what happens to Dakota and Marty. The end. That's so fucking sad. That's so fucking sad.